Your Excellency President Santos, Your Excellencies the Ministers, Your Excellencies the Ambassadors, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I am honored and delighted to be here today addressing such influential drivers of innovation and economic visionaries for a better global business environment. President Santos, thank you for gracing this occasion. We are indeed honored to have you here today. I would also like to thank Colombia for hosting our first event outside of the United Arab Emirates. As free zone organizations from across the world, we have our individual and unique market challenges and opportunities, but we also have the same aims and aspirations with the global economy. And working together, we can help such other realize those goals and set new standards of excellence. We in the World Free Zone Organization have just concluded a study and have identified 2,260 free zones in the world operating in 168 countries and territories. These are accurate numbers and I am announcing it for the first time today. These free zones generate 70 million direct employment, comprising nearly 30% of global trade. During a separate research study undertaken by World FZO, domain experts who were interviewed expressed the opinion that around 100 new free zones are likely to be established in Africa in the next five years. Last year, Mexico announced the development of three new special economic zones, with four in the pipeline for next year, while China received the approval to develop seven new pilot free zones. The United Arab Emirates free zones have made valuable contributions towards maximizing the country's FDI inflows and will be vital to the UAE's economic growth as the 2020 World Expo approaches. Preparations for the Expo 2020 are expected to attract as much as 150 billion US dollar in foreign investment. We have traditionally served our clients well and operated on a highly successful level. But we need to develop and work as a solid unit with unified principles. What we need to consider now is how to progress from best practices towards next practices. At the World Free Zone Organization, we have established the criteria for the next generation of free zones through an initiative called Free Zone of the Future, which was launched during the last annual conference in May 2016. They are standards and values which can increase effectiveness, develop sustainability, create partnerships, enhance relationships, embrace technology, and drive innovation. During this journey of progression, free zones need to be aligned with their respective government policies and contribute to the national agenda and strategy by supporting government initiatives in the country. Our insight at World, at World Free Zone Organization showed that the next practices for the next generation need to address a series of specific targets. Technology is one of the swiftest and most influential revolutions of all time and as with any modern institution, free zones must be tech ready for change. 
It is widely accepted that human, produ human produced pollution is having a profound impact upon our environment and sustainability is a necessary requirement of modern and progressive businesses. Supplying eco-friendly zones provides a service for potential investors and benefits our own communities. More than ever, we see the potential for free zones to work together for their mutual benefit. Many of us have different skills, sets, and areas of expertise and are able to exchange crucial knowledge and ideas. This collaboration should also extend further to private and public partnerships. Another of the main pillars for our next practices must be innovation. The entire concept of anticipation must be based around the need to innovate and there must be a committed and dedicated strategy to drive and enhance innovation. The journey of the free zone model is a story of evolution and adapting to its surroundings. It has benefited millions of companies over the years and continues to offer a unique head start in so many countries. We firmly believe that this is the time for new developments and we will help to play a part in bringing those changes about. Mexico, Colombia, Peru, Paraguay, Guatemala, and Argentina have reformed their free zone legislation to significantly improve their profitability and competitiveness in new world order. Let us remember that prosperity is not merely wealth creation and distribution. It is the effect of the society it serves. From an increase in employment, wages, livelihood, opportunities, and standards of living, next generation free zones are also committed to next generation communities. Our outstanding lineup of speakers from five continents include domain experts, researchers, corporate heads, and, poli and policy makers who are expected to provide new insights into the theme of developing next generation free zones through stimulating presentations and discussions. We believe AICE 2017 will provide knowledge-based guidance and set the direction for next generation free zones. We are living in exciting times and the opportunity for us to set new benchmark and move forward together has never been more needed. These innovations will drive us forward into new territory. The path to next generation free zones is our route to a brighter, more responsible, more effective, and more efficient future. Finally, I would like to take this opportunity to thank everyone who committed and participated in organization organizing this event especially Andy for their dedication over the last year and their support of the organization from the beginning and thank you